Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Jonathan sent me a note. It's a Steve check out the story from Atlanta News First. And, you know, it has to do with what happens to photographs taken of you by the government. So, for instance, if you have a driver's license, uh, you might have a driver's license photo. That photo nowadays, of course, is being stored on some memory bank someplace. And the question is, do they ever use it for any other purposes? And had you ever even thought of that? <laughs> so we've discussed how they mishandle your data as it is by selling it, which I consider mishandling it. Uh, but, you know, not much you can do about that because the states do what they do. Um, but here's what Georgia is doing with your driver's license by Ciara Cummings, going to the Georgia Department of Motor Vehicles and getting your picture taken, of course, is part of the process. But that agency is also keeping that photo, is also keeping that photo in a facial recognition system. According to the Georgia Department of Driver Services, it does so to help law enforcement in cases of specific violent crimes. However, some state lawmakers are unsettled after an Atlanta News First investigation uncovered the process and asked them about it. So state reps weren't aware of the process, at least two that they contacted, uh, who sit on the House Technology and Infrastructure Innovation Committee, which, according to its mission statement, works on issues involving new and emerging technologies and their implications for Georgia's economy. Uh, it's something we need to look into, it's something we need to take very seriously, said one. We as a government have to do a better job or have to do a good job making sure citizens know this, said the other. When submitting an ID application to the DDS, the use of the tech is not explicitly disclosed to the applicant except for the general acknowledgement section that the applicant is required to check off which says, under penalty of perjury, I swear or affirm that I am a resident of the state of Georgia, and the information provided on this form is true and correct. I grant permission to the Department of Driver Services to verify information furnished to the department through the release of any and all applicant information to third parties, which shall include, but not be limited to, U.S. Department of Homeland Security or other public or private entities. But it does say to verify information. So it sounds like they're limited to the information being simply subject to verification. But since 2008, the DDS has awarded contracts to private facial recognition companies, according to documents obtained by the news. You don't know when they're using the data, how they're using the data, or in what form they're using the data, says an associate dean at Emory who studies artificial intelligence and its impact on privacy and who raises concerns about the unintended consequences. For example... Back in 2015, a 41-year-old man was shot and killed during an armed robbery attempt in southwest Atlanta. At the time, police did not have a suspect's name, but a witness provided an Instagram photo of a possible suspect. Atlanta police detectives sent the image to DDS, which ran a facial recognition search using the state database of driver's license photos. Case files show that 25 photos delivered back as possible matches. So they said, we think it could be this guy. And so the database said, well, it could be any one of these 25 people. Among the returned photos was a man named Kevin, who would later be one of the two men convicted in the murder. However, images were released of more than a dozen other men who had nothing to do with the crime, and police were able to use any of those images to potentially build a suspect lineup. And so a professor, um, who is a former prosecutor, said many Georgia residents have likely been in photo lineups based on this process. So you didn't know it, but a crime got committed with somebody out there who looks kind of like you. So they got a photograph of a suspect, and they want to show it to somebody, a witness, and they go, okay, is the, is the person among these? And the other photos were the ones they just grabbed off the database. So <clears throat> we've all seen it on TV when they bring in people for a physical lineup. You know, do you see the person who did this to you? But... But they're saying now they might be showing your photo as part of a lineup that you have no idea about. So if anybody thinks the only people concerned about privacy are those people who have criminal behavior to hide or who have things in their trunk or things in their garage, they are mistaken. Beyond privacy, this professor argues the process could pose a court challenge. Under Georgia's Election Integrity Act 2021, IDs are now required to cast a ballot. When a resident has no other form of ID, they can get a free voter ID card from the DDS. But that same voter ID image could also be subject to a facial recognition system, 
which could possibly be a new frontier for people who want to assert an impact on other people's ability to vote. This is uncharted territory for lawmakers who want state legislation. Instead of waiting on federal guidance, the state has a role in it, especially if you're funding those agencies, says the professor. Anything less than absolute maximum transparency would be unwise by policymakers, says one of the uh, politicians. Applicants for voting can uh, get their voter ID card from other agencies, such as county registrar offices, which would, I guess, get you around this. But DDS officials declined interview requests, but a statement from the agency cited state law authorizing them to do what they are doing. A strong working relationship between motor vehicle agencies and law enforcement is essential to public safety, says the DDS. Sharing of facial recognition data plays an important role in meeting local, state, and federal public safety goals. And they go on to say a whole bunch more, but it's the typical stuff you accept, expect from somebody who's writing a press release uh, in the government. So basically, it boils down to this. You go in, get your driver's license. They take your picture. Obviously, now they have your photograph, your address, your age, how tall you are, the color of your eyes, the color of your hair, probably your weight. Although I've never seen them weigh anybody. They always ask. It's the honor system with weight. (laughs) However, most people in the old days thought, well, I got to give them that information because they got to have it on file someplace. And then we've discovered in recent years that, no, no, they, they take that information, they sell it. They sell it. So somebody can come along and approach the state of Michigan and say, I want the names and addresses of every single person who's got a driver's license in, uh, oh, I don't know, Keweenaw County, Keweenaw County. And I can buy that information. And so there's people up there in Keweenaw County who it never would have occurred to that people can just buy their data because they have a driver's license. And so a lot of people thought, well, that's intrusive. Well, here they're saying, oh, and by the way, we're going to use your photograph also. How, how are you going to use a photograph? Oh, well, we're, we're giving it to other agencies that do things with it, such as uh, searches for suspects and crimes, but also as simply um, lineup material. And that's the thing that bothers me. And I know some people are going to say, Steve, how would you even know what happened? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. But that doesn't mean it's meaningless or harmless. It does not mean that. And so there's a couple things that could go wrong here, one of which is suppose somebody comes in and they have a very vague idea about what the person looked like. I don't know. They're kind of tall and had blonde hair. So they go and they, and they, and they throw up a bunch of photographs, one of whom is a suspect and four or five of whom aren't, and they include my photograph. And for whatever reason, the person who saw the crime going down looks at my photograph and goes, I think that's the guy. No, no, you're supposed to pick the other guy. You think they're going to ignore it when they say, oh, no, that's the guy? Oh, no, oh, no. And so next thing you know, you're getting dragged in for questioning because somebody misidentified you from a photo lineup. And by the way, when was your last driver's license photograph taken? When was your last driver's license photograph taken. When did they actually snap the photograph? Because it depends what state you're in. I know some states don't require you to renew your license for six years. There are also some states where it's renewed less often, but if you don't have any points in your license, they'll renew it by mail and simply use your old photograph. So the photo on file with the state might be an old photograph, and that could cause problems also. So somebody comes in and identifies you from an old photograph saying, yeah, I think that's the guy. And they're like, no, no, you're supposed to pick this guy over here. No, 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 they'll trust me. They'll drag you in. They'll drag you in. Where were you on April 13th of last year? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. He's getting evasive on us now. (laughs) Throw him in a room. Lock him up. So I don't like this. But, again, this is all part of the, the creeping technology And, you know, every single time I think to myself, okay, they've finally gotten to the edge where they can go no further. Oh, no, they've gone further. And what they're doing now is it's what Georgia is doing with your driver's license. And Ciara Cummings wrote that. Jonathan sent it. Thanks a lot. They're using your photo a bunch of different ways, but including in photo lineups of suspects and crimes. Whether or not you uh, left your house that night, doesn't matter. (laughs) Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Keep your sense of humor. If you don't have a sense of humor, it just isn't funny anymore.